here's a thought. Are Christians too judgmental? Yes. No. I don't know. It depends on what your definition of too judgmental is. If by too judgmental you mean that somebody disagrees with your worldview, actions, maybe your perspective on a particular topic, then yes, Christians are too judgmental. But if you're consistent with that standard, then you would be too judgmental as well. Everybody would be too judgmental. And that's the reality. Every single person makes judgments every single day of their lives, whether they are a Christian or not. Think about this for a second. The statement, Christians are too judgmental, is a judgment of all Christians, whether having met all Christians or not. I've personally experienced situations where people around me that aren't believers do something or say something that they assume I might find inappropriate. And what do they say? Ryan, don't judge me. Now, granted, most of the time it's in a joking manner and that's okay, but I think it's still a good example. You see, the assumption is that I am judging them, whether I've said anything or not. That is a judgment. And I've heard them all before. Christians are judgmental. Christians are hypocritical. Christians are stupid. Christians are ignorant. Christians are gullible. Christians are bigots. All of these things are judgments. I find it pretty ironic that people are very quick to cast judgments on Christians and they believe that's okay. But the moment a Christian judges them, it's no longer okay. Now, you might be saying, Ryan, the reason why I would say Christians are too judgmental is because Christians are taught to not judge. Well, why don't we look at that for a second? I think that we will come to see that Christians aren't actually taught to not judge. Rather, they are taught to consider their judgments. Let's look at the famous passage. All right, we're going to read it. And I think as we read, we'll find that Jesus actually assumes that we will be judging. Matthew chapter 7, verse 1. This is Jesus speaking. Judge not that you be not judged. Wait a second. Christians aren't actually taught to not judge. Hold on. The thought continues. Judge not that you be not judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. So Jesus tells us to consider our judgment. Consider the severity level of our judgments. Because with the measure we judge, it will be measured to us as well. So if you don't want someone to malign your character, don't malign theirs. If you don't want somebody to assume your motives or your intentions, don't assume theirs. Jesus continues to go on to illustrate this even more for us. Verse number three, why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but you do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is the log in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. So Jesus assumes again that we will be judging, but we are to be sure that those judgments are not hypocritical judgments. If somebody is struggling with something or a sin that, that you struggle with as well, then how could you judge them for it if it's something that you deal with? First, deal with your own issues, deal with your own sin before God, and then you will be able to judge clearly. So this is what Jesus is trying to tell us. Consider your judgment. Consider the severity of your judgment and consider whether that judgment is hypocritical or not. The issue is not whether a Christian is judging or not. The issue is the condition of the judgment. I think this standard that Jesus sets up for us is a great standard because what it does is it causes us to look at ourselves first. And when we understand our standing before God, it brings about humility. And a humble heart will not judge severely. A humble heart will not judge hypocritically. And I think this is something that would be hugely helpful for our cultural moment. Yes, for the Christian, but for everyone else as well.